Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to look at electrical power. So let's get started. The first thing we need to look at is the definition of electrical power. And it states here that electrical power is the electrical energy transferred per second or each second. Another way of saying this though is that electrical power is the rate at which energy is transferred. And that's because the word rate refers to time. So if we look at this definition here, we're referring to an energy over a time, which gives rise to this equation here for electrical power. So it says that power is equal to the energy divided by time. And this is the equation you'll get on the relationship sheet in the exam. And it tells us what the symbols are. So P is electrical power measured in watts, a capital W. E is electrical energy measured in joules, which is a capital J. And T is time measured in seconds, which is a small s as always. And lastly, it says here that one watt is equal to one joule per second. So you could be asked what is one watt equivalent to? And what we need to do in this case is use the equation to look at the units of the variables. So if we look at the equation here and look at the units of each variable, you'll see that power is measured in watts. So we essentially have one watt on the left hand side is equal to one joule because energy is measured in joules divided by one second. So one watt is equal to one joule per second. And you might have to know this for something like a multiple choice question. Lastly, it's worth noting that you'll often find the power rating of an appliance labeled on the appliance itself. And this is on something called a rating plate. So you'll notice on this one here for this device, you'll see that it's got a power rating of between 1320 and 1440 watts. And you'll often also see the voltage rating there, 230 volts to 240 volts, and a frequency from the mains of about 50 or 60 hertz. But we assume at National 5 level that we're always going to get 230 volts if we plug something into the mains. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.